Hey, it's Maximo and welcome to Maximo's Travels. Today, we'll be visiting the world famous Butchard Gardens on Vancouver Island in Canada. The gardens are absolutely spectacular. We see foliage, plants, more flowers than you can poke a stick at, and even a snake. Join me. Our day started nice and early. We wanted to catch the 905 bus to Bouchard Gardens. We had breakfast at Cora Restaurant. This is an unpretentious and value for money cafe. I had marvellous Canadian bacon and eggs and Joe had pancakes with maple syrup. Suitably full, we went across the road and waited for the bus to take it to the Bouchard Gardens. The gardens are located about 21 kilometres north of Victoria. We didn't have a car and the best way to get to the gardens was by the number 75 bus. This only cost $5 for a full day pass. And a tip for you, the bus tends to get quite busy so the closer you are to the starting point of the bus route which is the Royal British Columbia Museum or Parliament House, the more likely you are to get a seat. And it is important to get a seat because the bus ride takes one hour. It stops multiple times and you get a good look at Vancouver Island as you're traversing from south to north towards the gardens. The bus drops you off at the Butchard Gardens bus stop this is only about 100 metres or so from the ticket office where you can buy your tickets to get into the gardens. There was only a few people lined up to buy tickets so you don't need to pre-book or pre-order tickets. The cost for a ticket for an adult is $41.50 Canadian cents each. A little bit on the pricey side but the gardens were utterly brilliant so large expansive and so well maintained the gardens are huge they cover 55 acres so i'd bring comfortable walking shoes and sun protection there's pretty good uh, paths most of the way there are a few steps but there are uh, wheelchair accessible paths instead of the stairs so everyone shouldn't have an issue making their way around the gardens and it's from this high vantage point that you appreciate how enormous the gardens are. So tranquil, so beautiful. There's over 900 varieties of plants. There's 26 greenhouses and the gardens employ 50 full-time gardeners. These gardens are privately owned. It used to be a limestone quarry. But when the limestone ran out in around 1912, one of the owners, Jenny Butchard, decided to turn the quarry into a magical garden. The gardens were built upon and expanded through the generations of the Butchard family ownership. There are a number of gardens in the complex. On the screen is the Sunken Garden. It features quite a few ponds and many different exotic plants. There's also the Rose Garden, the Italian Garden, the Mediterranean garden and the Japanese garden as well as many ponds and water features and fountains and statues and artworks. There's also quite a few eating options available for you. There's a coffee shop, the Blue Poppy restaurant, a gelateria and you can get high tea in the dining room.
the gardens were stunningly beautiful, world class. We had such a great time. We spent about three hours wandering around the gardens and then it was time to get back on the bus. And you do need to get your timing right because the bus back to Victoria departs every hour. So to avoid waiting for too long, just get there uh, five or ten minutes before it's due to depart. The gardens are near the end of the line so it was relatively easy getting a seat but the bus does fill up. We had an absolutely fabulous time at the Bouchard Gardens. I would thoroughly recommend you going here. The trip did take us around five and a half hours including travel time so it's slightly over a half day's tour. You'd still have time to uh, get in a couple of activities around Victoria's Inner Harbour on your return. I do hope you've liked this video. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notify bell so you'll never miss another forthcoming video. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying me a coffee. Until our next adventure from Canada, you take care and bye now.